Portal just opened up in Philadelphia, and there's a couple things wrong with it, but more importantly, nobody seems to know how it actually works. Or how they're preventing something like this from happening again. So I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Here's the portal. It's on the other side. There's a screen on the other side. So if I want to video chat somebody, I could just get on that? Well, you can't pick who you video chat, but how do you think this thing works? I think it's a giant ring doorbell that just broadcast video to other places. It's a big waste of time, but then again, so is life. So it's fun. So is there more to the portal technologically than just a giant ring camera? Yeah, I did manage to find that the software on it is powered by a video window and it weighs 11 tons. Next, I found a local portal expert. First time I saw it, I thought Stargate SG-1. My wife saw it and she said, oh, that's like the city on the edge of forever in Star Trek, the, the portal, which is a much cooler reference. But the truth is it doesn't actually let you walk through and appear in Ireland like either of those would do in there. So it's more like a palantir from Lord of the Rings. The thing that makes it so cool is that it's round. If it was a rectangle, if it was a square, it would not be cool. It would just be like a giant Zoom meeting. So how do you think the portal works? Do you think it's like just a giant ring camera? I think it kind of is. While the portal was off, I could see that there are visible seams between square panels making up the screen. The screen is made up of these square panels from Artixium. They're supposed to be ultra high definition. That's interesting because it's not very high definition. If I had to guess, it's around 720p. Yeah. That that's really low. I think, I think, you know, I really want to see a 4K or higher, yeah. right? It should look like you're looking out into Ireland. Their website thanks Peplink, right? And so Peplink makes these bonding routers. But if you look in Love Park, there are these big fat cables, a whole bunch of them, coming off the back of the machine and then down a hole into, you know, the parking lot below. So I suspect that it's actually just wired to the internet. The thing that bothers me most is when the camera is right above the screen. So when you look, you're not looking straight into the other side. You're looking down on the other side. If there's any way they could figure out how to get that camera moved from above the screen to the middle of the screen, even if it means a black spot in the center of the screen, it would be such an improvement. You could make eye contact. contact then it would feel a lot more like a window or a portal like a window. That would be instead so cool. of a security camera. <laughs> New York lost their portal privileges. And for some reason they thought Philly would be better. How do they prevent that kind of thing from happening again? <laughs> Philadelphia is such a civilized, clean city. Mm -hmm. I think there, there's no concerns whatsoever. No, no uh, might. Yeah, according to the New York Post, they've been working for a while on a solution. I don't know if it's in there yet or not. To you know, have AI to spot naked people mm -hmm. <laughs> and just shut off the portal immediately to stop any nonsense from happening. Mm -hmm. So I think that is the long-term fix.